today's tale sees us playing Battletech once again, and we're up against Evil Joe again. There's not many people in the lobby, so uh, I grab games wherein I can. I saw him uh, pop his game up as soon as our other game had finished, so down for this. Today we've got a slightly different build. I assume he thinks I'm going to take the Bum Rush build again, so we're not taking that. We've got our two Centurions here. These are the AL versions, which have the large lasers instead of the ACs. Um, I've just taken them because they've got more armor. I'm thinking he's going to go with some long-range shenanigans here. Um, and then I've got my two 4Gs, which is pretty standard. So this takes us to about 20 million on the loadout here. And what we're going to do is we're probably going to park ourselves over here and see what comes our way. I'd rather the 4Gs were kind of behind this hill. I can keep them entrenched uh, if need be. Hopefully they'll take... Ooh. Hopefully they will take some... Not so direct fire here. Uh, there's not much evasion going on here. And we'll get our two... Centurions, which actually have our sensor lockers on them. Behind this hill as well. Is this the only hill we have? Really, I would have liked to have made it to this hill, but I guess we're just partying behind the here. Doesn't give us a lot of options, does it? We might forward face with um, these two and sprint the hunchbacks out, I guess. Uh, we're out of sensor lock range of this guy. He's going to have a lot of choices on what he shoots at. Hopefully, we'll see what his sensor locks up here. So, what has he taken? He has taken a light, two mediums. And a heavy again. I wonder if he's taken exactly the same. So we know the 1M, I think, is the uh, missile build. M for missiles? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> I, I doubt that is why it's called an M, but you never know. You never know. Um, I mean, AL? Laser? A laser? And uh, what's a 4G? A very big gun? <laughs> a 4 gun! <laughs> I've got the 4 gun. Um, we're going to play some reserve here. We will probably move all of our stuff now. We'll move two of them at least. Uh, back here. Mm, that's, that's a wee bit awkward, isn't it? A wee bit awkward, that sprint across this road. I kind of want to just chill out in this area back here somewhat. Uh, behind this rock, maybe? It's not... It's not all that dandy, though, is it? Um, hmm... You know what we might do, is we might just reserve to the end here. Um, and try and get some... Try and get some play going on here. Hopefully he locks something up. And we get a bit of choice in what we do. I have no lights, so obviously I don't get any... Any pre-move. I mean, I can do a lot of movement before his... Heavy, but... Other than that, we're a little stuffed. And I am running out of coffee. Hmm... Right, we need to make a drink after this game, I guess. It's long games. Hour each. Well, 40 minutes. I mean, these have been some quick games. I wonder if he's just going to chill here. If he doesn't move his locust, we'll probably uh, run someone back here. I don't want to be... I don't like this map. This map has... Um... Yep. This map has some issues in... Uh... The way it plays, right? I mean, there's, there's no, there's no way to play around that river. I mean, sure you can push into it, but it's not, it's not friendly, right? Especially if they've taken some range. I mean, if you ever see this map, you're always like, well, I should probably just take some range, wait for them to come across this river and shoot them, because that seems to be about the way this map goes. If he's got LRMs, I'm probably just going to tank with most of my stuff here. Both the Hunchbacks and the Centurions have the armor to do this. Uh, he could push his Locust forward and pick something. Hmm. Don't know what... He said he's going to change his fit up a little. So... I don't know what he's quite swapped out. I wonder if he's wanting me to come towards him. Well, it's going to be a long wait. <laughs> um, I really do not like crossing this river. 
Uh, I'll probably just play a couple of uh, lock rounds with him. Uh, so we'll probably just uh, move in and out of sense lock range a little with this locust if we can. Sprint back here, sprint back here, he'll get a turn. Uh, that locust is pushed quite far up. There's a hill here and then there's the river. It's kind of hard to see in the dark, but that is how the map looks. Uh, this crossing, I think there's a crossing still here. Uh, it's fog of war. I mean, you're a satellite, right? The, the idea between, behind being the commander is you're a satellite view. Like, what kind of crappy satellite do we have that we don't at least know what land this is? Besides the fact that it is pitch black. Uh, okay. Um, I could sprint with the four G's. Really? Can I not get... Oh, man. What? Oh, I can't fit? <laughs> Yo, wildfire, your butt's too big. Um, your butt is way too big. Wow, apparently that would be vision. Ah, oh, yeah. Sure, that would be vision. Um, there's always a bunch of map over here, I guess. Not that I can cross here that I know of. I haven't actually played on this side of the map. I don't know. Where's the edge of the map? Uh, what do we got back here? Trebuchet! Trebuchet, eh? Uh, so does that mean he's going to lock this and fire on it? I don't even know if he's got sensor locks from there. I guess we start moving uh, the Centurions around this way. We start pulling back a bit. Um, Trebuchet is a little exposed there, I guess. Is he really going to push across the river? No. Really? Um. So that's his medium. He had a Griffin before and a Orion. Ah, uh, has he kept the Orion to tank with? He has the Trebuchet to fire with, and... Would you really push out like that? I don't think I would. Do not think I would. Uh, Apex. You're going to move over here, buddy. Uh, so you're still in vision, uh, and we will just tank up, I guess. Although if that's out and about, oh, I'm tempted to fire on it with the, the hunchbacks, but I don't think I will. It's a little bit of a trap, because the trebuchet will just rain down on us from afar. If only I could get vision here. What are you going to do? Are you really going to push this out? I mean, if you push this too far forward, suddenly Hunchback's on you, ripping you apart. I mean, he now knows what my my loadout is, right? He knows that I've got two Hunchbacks and two Centurions. So do you back away from this? It's a full move. With a Locust. I think he's still got Sense Lock, though. If he doesn't have sense lock, I'll be really tempted to sense lock this guy and run towards him. Uh, I do have to be aware that he could have a second sense lock. Uh, catching my hunchback in the open would be pretty bad for him. It was a full move. If he's taken this long to have his turn, it means that he's deciding what he wants to sense lock. Alright, he's going for the back. Okay. Uh, that's fine. That's probably his only sensor lock. Uh, in which case, Kraken, you can just chill there, buddy. Um, Arclight, I'm really tempted to push you in. Man, that is a lot of vision going on here. What is with all this vision? Things like an eagle eye. Whew. Um, gonna reserve up. Get our master tactician going. Um, Alright, so now he'll drop rounds on to this guy. So it should be a set of, what is this, 30 from here? 
it's a shame we don't have the bulwark on this so that we could just sit here and double sensor lock. Uh, so we know this guy's got a bit of evasion. He's moved though. We could do... We could do a sprint with you to get some vision. Uh, we can't fire from here, unfortunately. But we could sprint, get some vision, and fire. And then have his locust move on us, I guess. And then he'll probably lock the hunchback. He's going to fire the trebuchet, though. Here comes some rounds from the trebuchet. In they come. Hopefully that should be long range. And hopefully we're behind enough of a hill here to be indirect. So we shouldn't take too much damage. Um, there's, there's a fair bit of armor on this guy, right? Although that is... Oh my god. That is a lot of damage. Um, so if he's got a trebuchet, we might be better off just pushing right now. Um, yes, Commander. Alright, we can get vision from here. And fire. Hmm. Uh... Yep. Can get vision from here as well. Might just move over. Get some vision. Uh, we get to go first with Arclight, I guess. Uh... I'd say he's got a... Fair bit of evasion on that thing. Yes, Commander. Uh, if we get vision, we that's pretty long range for a medium laser. There's no way we're getting that. Uh, we'll get some full-on shots though. Um, I'm down for that. Uh, it does put. Oh, actually, I've made a mistake. I've put this guy into vision range here with no. Um, ooh, with no evasion and only a tree to hold him. Hmm. Probably won't do the large laser, uh, the LRMs. We'll probably hold with those. That's a lot of evasion. We could strip some. Uh, right, let's just fire in with this. Oh, it's a hit. Man, whoa, to the torso? Alright. Could have been tempted to... Oh, that's right, because this thing has literally no armor, right? Um... I'd say he's going to drop most of his rounds on this now. I should have fired the LRMs. I should have done... Any damage would have been good damage against this Locust, right? Because it is pretty weak, and it's his only sensor locker here. He's pushed it a bit too far forward. Um, We've got everything to go, so if he drops rounds on this guy, I could go with this guy onto this as well. We could go with everything we've got. Get rid of his sensor lock. Makes the trebuchet not so great. I can't remember. I'm pretty sure you can't afford two trebuchets. I think they're like about five point something or six something um, to use. I maybe should go... Maybe one day I should actually put the sensor locking on these guys. Uh, 4P is the laser version. He's pushing up with that. Um, so the hunchback can get in. Can you get in? I'm receiving you. Hmm, you cannot. Uh, could sprint you over here, but what I'd probably rather do is just walk and bulwark, I think. Uh, we've got to be careful of that 4P. Uh, so we'll move here and we'll just, uh, we'll just engage the hardness. You know, just hide in these trees. We've got some... Not great vision from there, actually. That's a ditch. Um, so he's still got that large to go. What we'll do is we're going to reserve um, large. He's still got that heavy mech to go. So I'd like to move last with uh, Kraken here. So I'll move Apex and have a shot, and then move Kraken in and have a shot. Um, it's probably got an Orion, right? And he's just going to drop trebuchet rounds on us. I really want to get this down. Oh, I should have fired the LRMs. The heat saving was not worth. Uh, a Jagermech. Okay. So he's gone all LRMs here. We're going to push on this. There's no point in sitting back. Uh, that Jagermech will fall apart if we get a hold of it. Um, ooh, 
and so will us mechs though. Uh, so he's got some range with that baby. Oof, that is a big old beating down there. Under heavy fire here. You are under heavy fire. Whew. Um, yes, Commander. All right, so you're up first. Um, you've got some decent range with that. Uh, so you move in and tank from the forest. Oof, all right, in you go. Hopefully, I think I clicked the right direction there. There we go. Um, we're going to fire in everything. If that AC hits, it'll just shred the guy. I don't really care. Um, I mean, we'll take what chances we get. Because if we get this down, it is a brawl. And we should be able to out-brawl here. Receiving you. Should be able to. Mm -hmm. It's got a lot of evasion going on that thing. We've got mostly tree cover here. We're going to overheat with everything. We've got 60 to hit with the laser, apparently. Um, come on, baby. Hit him with the laser. Boom. Excellent. There we go. So no more vision game for him. So now he has to come in with the hunchback. Uh, which will be nice for us. Uh, so Arclight, you're going to reserve here, my friend. Get whatever you had lost before back. So he's going to have to push this guy in unless he's got sensor locking here. If he's got sensor locking here, we're going to just push in on it then. Because it'll be one less mech firing at us. The thing is, is taking the locusts is all well and good. But don't take the flimsy locust if you're going to do it. I mean, you saw one laser hit basically was through armor and into internals, right? Um... Which is all sorts of sketchy. And now he's got two long range mechs, which can't see a thing. Absolutely cannot see a thing, right? Unless he's got sensor locking over here on this hunchback. I should move my mouse. I'm so lazy. I've got my hand on my head here. Um, really at a disadvantage now. Because now if you push stuff in, I've got two AC-20s to fire, plus all of this stuff. He has to come in close enough to get that vision, which means I don't have to bother with vision. Or, worst case, he doesn't even get into vision, and I just shoot him. Hopefully he does not uh, rage on me here. I mean, you could, right? Because you've lost your, you've lost your sense of luck here. You're a little out of luck. You know it's fairly much a loss, unless you go all in. I would probably back up with the 4P, or... J yeah, the 4P. Um, ugh, you can't even do that anymore. Just sensor locking will just uh, destroy you now. Uh, he's about to lose his turn here. Hmm. That rock's in the way. Uh, we might sensor lock up his... Actually, can we get in? We can get some range. I could run in with this. And then... Bulwark? And then fire everything I have. Oof. You know what? We'll do it. We might as well just go all in. This is not a great move. I would rather just sensor lock and fire from afar. Um... You know what? Uh, yeah, we'll just let it play out. We'll just let it play out. We won't tell him. Okay, so he's, bulwark he's uh, entrenched here. I have given him a slight advantage. I mean, he's got a Jagermech here that can fire in. He's just going to trebuchet us as much as he can. Uh, but I don't mind. I'd rather throw stuff at this than have him leave. Uh, so we've got a little bit of evasion got the bulwark hopefully it's enough I mean yeah we tanked that a bit what I really want is vision of this Jager here 
Um, I'm here. What we might do is might sprint you forward, buddy. Uh, hmm. Or maybe not. Maybe we'll just move you forward. Uh, we can move here. We still got no vision on this. Next turn, we can move onto it unless he moves his. Hmm. Not the greatest of moves, is it? Not the greatest. Or at least this guy can ram some rounds in. Uh, we'll probably sense lock the Jaeger and drop some LRM-10s on it while we move forward. Uh, and we'll move forward out of vision range, I think. We'll probably flank around this way. Definitely want to push up on this Jaeger. Uh, do you want to just guard there? Uh, who goes first? Arclight, right? So Arclight, you're up. Uh, Arclight, buddy, you're just going to walk forward. And since lock back here. And then we'll walk forward with the other one and fire the LRMs into this. Shaga makes the better choice here. Um, Standing by. Simply because it has fairly much no armor. Confirmed. And I think we can get a large laser on this as well. Uh, there we go. Large laser. Confirmed. Bam! Have some large lasers of the leg, apparently. Alright. Uh, the other thing is, is pushing the Jager up so close is a little dangerous. Uh, he's going to have to back it up now. Because it is now really exposed. And his only shot, I think, is into this. Uh, he could do a bit of damage here. But, uh... Yeah, don't take two ranged mechs. Because now this tanking mech here, the P, has to tank fairly much uh, the brunt of all of this. Plus your dead locust here. I mean, yeah, 12 damage. Plus whatever this does. You might knock me over. Nope. Alright. So we're going to get on up with that. Uh, we're going to keep pushing. Actually, we're going to reserve here. Uh, if he reserves, I'm just going to obliterate this Jager mech here. See what he does. That Jager is really out of position. I could probably actually walk these guys up and get some vision on that. Uh, that's how good they probably are. And they can tank. I could probably put a uh, Kraken in there, or I could even choose... I probably put Kraken in there. He's got the... I think he's going to go for the knockdown. Is that what he's trying for? I don't know if that'll do enough to knock it down. Don't think it will. Oh, he's got vision over here. Alright. Uh, oh no. Okay, cool. Uh, so he is trying for the knockdown here. It's not good enough. It never will be um, against a entrenched mech here. So... It's probably going to run that mech out and shoot me, right? So what we're going to do is, can we get some... Can we get some vision on that guy? Oh, that puts us in a really bad spot, though. Um, probably rather Arclight did this then. Oh, actually, we could move... These are some really mad moves. Uh, let's move into these... Are we in a tree? We are not in a tree. So we'll move into the tree first. Just back up, and we'll sense lock that uh, Shaggy mech here. Pretty sure we can throw some absolute rounds onto this. Kraken's got the better shots as well. Oh, he's uh, he's entrenched it. Okay. Um, yeah, I guess. Push your four P in. Try and stop these two. You could punch this, I guess, and hope that you knock it down. Um, if what if Apex gets close enough, that uh, that entrenching's not going to matter. Maybe I should have gone. No, see, I had to do some sensor locking now, right? See, so it's like, yo, you're gonna come in. I will come in and fire. He's in the water, so he's got that going for him. Lasers will do no knockdown. If he had a um, 4G here, he might knock me down. 
Okay, he's misclicked. Alright. So there's no knockdown with lasers. Um. Ooh, apparently we got hit in the head though. So we should be good for this now. Uh, we're going to expose a lot of damage here. But I'm fairly happy for it to happen if we can get up on this guy. And rip some shreds out of him. Uh, can we get some shots with wildfire? Wildfire can. Uh, let's go all in. We'll spread you this way. Unfortunately, wildfire is not going to have the greatest of times next turn, but full armor should be okay. I hope. Apparently, we are going to rip some stuff off here. Oh, nope. Oh, damn. It's that that um, brace there is wrecking my day. Absolutely wrecking it. Uh, you, sir, just want to push up just a little? What have you got? Hmm, can we get some lasers on this action? We can. Alright, I don't know if he can see me from there. Uh, but we'll just run in, I think. If I can get that Jager to have a bit less armor, a bit less arms, I'll be super excited. Bam bam! Alright, not to the chest. Rip those arms off, sir. Alright, he's having a problem. He's having a bad day. Alright, so who's left? Apex. Apex, Apex, Apex. It's a shame you cannot go from there. Uh, I really do not want to get you closer. That's a tree right there, but then we're really close, and that guy could probably walk behind me. Um, so we might just move to here. God, you might get killed for this. Uh... Hmm, might die to this, but uh, we're going to fire in just this. Actually, we're going to multi-shot this. Uh, so we want B to go there, A to go there, and that. Alright, let's fire. Engaging multiple enemies. Couple of zaps on here. Yeah, that's fine. And then the mm, piercing shot right in there. Is that a head hit? Oh, that is an arm gone. Excellent, so now we shouldn't get knocked over. Um too much. Trebuchet, I mean, he's basically lacking weapons here now. Half his damage is gone. Uh, do you back up or do you continue to fight? If you back up, you probably lose that uh, entrenchment there. So that's not going so well for him. Alright, so we get a turn with Arclight. Uh, Arclight could push forward here, get some vision. I'll probably do that now. On my way. We'll just absolutely hammer into this guy now. He's uh, he's hurting, that's for sure. He is a hurting. Uh, damn, we are hot though. Come on, baby. Start doing some real damage here. This guy is going to probably abuse Apex a fair bit. Apex might want to move up. Fire again. Everybody's just going to fire on the Jager. I don't... He can run him for a punch and then shoot the trebuchet. Maybe knock it down. And then fire with the Jager. Uh, or you can fire with the... Mm. It's a little scary though. Can he move behind me? I wonder if he's got enough movement for that. Ooh. Some of these moves are a bit... I would have stayed probably in the water. We're bleeding armor though. We are bleeding a lot of armor on Apex. 
Uh, what do we got? We can start moving towards the water here. Mm, 55 versus 95. Is it really worth, though? Can we get some side shots here? I'd love some side shots into that. The next turn, I guess, we get into the water with the two Centurions. I could just run up with the Centurions. Probably be the better choice here. Uh, I guess we ease off with one of these. And then we just sprint in with the Centurions next turn. Alright, the armor is looking really bad on this guy. Hmm. We will need probably... Uh, so there's no... Yeah, so he does no stability damage here, right? So if I don't move, we shouldn't take any... We should get most of our stability back. Uh, he's coming in with the trebuchet. He's just wanting to just unleash on Apex, right? Leaving me to fight a hunchback and a trebuchet. Two centurions on top of this, though. This is... Ooh, we might lose. Are we going to lose the hump? Oh, the hump is hanging. Oh, and we took a crit. Um... Okay. And we took a crit. So we're not going to move. Actually, we might move here. Um, can we get... Hmm. Uh, what can we do here? He could probably get around the back of us. We might as well move forward. Um, I mean, we're in such a bad state that it's not going to... Can we... Could run away. <laughs> you know what? I think we're just going to go all in. Uh, we'll turn this way, though, just so he can't shoot us too badly. What side is this? Is this our AC side? Oh, man, we got to turn. Uh, he could pop my AC off here. I'm here. Wildfire, buddy. Hmm. Can we get around the back of this thing? Can't. I really would like to fire again, but I think... We have to move to here, just so he can't get behind us. Because uh, if he gets behind... Uh, and do this. It's a shame we don't have focus here. Maybe we can... Mm, chew in the wrong arm up there. I really should have just run in with the... Uh, with the... Aye, aye. I could sprint out. I can't sprint. Okay, we're not sprinting out. Uh, I still want the tree cover. I wonder... Mm, he could probably get behind me, right? Alright, we're just gonna go all in. Oof, that stability. I could tank up here. Uh... If we walk backwards, should we can walk all the way over here, I guess. Twist, and then entrench. Or to here. We gotta be careful. I want to face forward towards him, and uh, away from anything else. He's probably gonna go in on this. Uh, I would move... Oh, I don't know if I'd move my Jager here. I just kind of want him to chew up ammo on this, right? And not move. Because then these guys... I should just sprint these guys across. Or I could keep walking. We'll get onto that Jager next turn. He is sparking like crazy, though. Look at this. It's, it's Sparks galore over here. Mr. Sparks! Jager Sparks! Alright, that move... Is exactly what we need for him to do. Oh. Oh. Really? He's trying... Uh, okay. That... I don't know about that. You've moved your mech towards me. You've given me side armor. That's okay. Um, but now... Now it gets a little iffy for you. Uh... Damn, we're still not close enough. Might have to... Plus, we're giving him the turn. Alright, we're going to reserve here. Waiting for the right move. 
I want to see if I can get maybe Kraken to punch. Oh, I don't even need to punch anymore, do I? Mm. Uh, I suppose you go all in with this guy onto here. Maybe I can get around the back of him if he moves too far forward. I really want to take this Jager down really quick. Um, that entrenchment did a lot of work. Unfortunately for us. But hopefully we can do it this turn. Uh, let's see, what do you do? Do you fire everything onto this guy and hope that you win? So you kill this, and then I'm left with these guys on top of this. Uh, this guy could get a lucky couple of lucky headshots. Take out this. Uh, he's backing up for the water, I'd say. No? He's going for the trees? Uh, he's trying to give me his arm here, right? I suppose. Yeah, okay. Wildfire does have the entrenched skill. So we can just full work up there. Alright, so we've got to be careful of that trebuchet. We don't want the trebuchet beating on us. Uh, you cannot get on top of this, which is really annoying. We'll get up close, though. Um, probably to around here somewhere, just so that we're in range to do what we can, but not get hammered. We will multi-shot. Here and here. LRM's into the back of this guy. Uh, so LRM's onto A. And then a couple onto B. Looks like the uh, AI knew what I wanted to do here. Well, I'm only in range for this guy, right? Uh, so that'll shred some of his evasion. Plus we'll hit this guy in the back. Plus he has no uh, protection from the forest. For some reason, the forest doesn't protect your back. Wow, how did we... What's going on here? Was that not back shots? I don't know what happened there. Um, but that's okay. So now it's his turn to fire the trebuchet, right? So now if he fires that trebuchet, we can move Apex to probably here. Fire into the back of this guy. He's trying to keep his Jager here. Ooh, wow, that's a hot mech. Whew. That is glowing. Absolutely glowing, that mech. Whew. Poor guy. What do you do? I mean, you got a choice of shutting down. Uh, if you shut down, then I get to call shots into your chest with an AC-20. Uh... If you don't shut down, you can't really fire, I guess. Oh, now he's going to fire into... Ooh, that... Please, hump, stay on me. Stay on me, hump! Alright, the hump is staying. Excellent. Excellent work, Mr. Hump. Uh, so let's see. You want to move in through this forest? We can LRM to the back of that guy. I think we'll take the LRMs into the back. Of this guy. I could have maybe moved around and fired everything, but we'll LRM him uh, for sure, because we could probably go through some of that armor. Roger. It's a shame it's indirect, but we'll take it. Ooh. So now, we probably want to get the two mechs onto the back of this guy. Can we get around to here? We can. We're going to take maybe shots to the side or rear from the Jager uh, if we're unlucky but the AC should hopefully shoot through this guy nope we're gonna miss with the AC all right damn we are melting the back of him but it's not enough we have exposed ourselves here uh, Apex is gonna have to go in as well okay is there somewhere where we can shoot from the back but not get hammered here all right we're gonna have to give up we might get shot in our own back here I really need most of these hits to get him. To uh, if we miss here, Apex is probably dead. I would probably shoot this guy in the back. Um, oh, that's not the back we need. Come on, there we go. 
There we go. So he's down. So now we just need to get up on these guys here, right? So what do you do? You fire into probably Apex? Alright, so I think he's going to exit out on us. Here we go. He's left again. Um, it's a shame. I'd rather go to the end, but I mean, he knows he's going to lose here, right? Because suddenly the Centurions get up on top of, um, get on top of your Jagermech here. Plus the Trebuchet is super hot, like super cooking. He cannot save any more heat on that. So the thing is, is you cannot take two ranged mechs. You can take a Jagermech, or you can take a Trebuchet. You can't take both. Because suddenly you are underwhelming on your defense. I mean, you've seen where I got stomped. Uh, I think Spiral Face. He stomped me for doing exactly the same thing. Where I took um, I took the ranged mech and I took um, some Kaidi mechs. And of course, the ranged mech can't keep away from their tank. And my tank was not enough. He kind of just... I killed one mech. But for that, I lost... Um, I lost everything else. So, if you're ever going to do a game like this, you really need to just pick one ranged. Keep it safe with everything else. Um, keep it safe with, say, two Hunchbacks or two Centurions. And then have a decent scout. I mean, he could have, if you'd kept that Locust alive. Um, maybe done a bit more damage to me. Because, I mean, it's a lot of LRMs. You could cool down the Trebuchet by not doing anything. Um, I would have probably turtled behind a rock to the best of my ability because there's no way you can push on this map. You can't push across this river against, uh, LRM fire. Well, I don't feel comfortable doing it because you'd have to move and trench, move and trench, move and trench, and it wouldn't do enough for you because you'd be, you'd be exposed to direct fire. It would be really ugly. The, la the medium lasers could probably fire on me before I could fire the AC-20s. I could fire maybe stuff back. I would probably just have to keep ranging him and firing on whatever scout is going on me. But oh, it's a good game. And with that, we'll take a break. Tune in next time. More adventures of Battletech. Hey guys, thanks again for watching. If you like what you've seen, hit that subscribe button. Or leave me a comment on anything you want to see in the future.